Here we are in chapter six, review exercises, number 16 through 19, ooh, with these complex fractions. So first we're gonna take the top and add them with the common denominator. We'll have to times by a y and a y, and an x and an x, so we get three y plus three x over x y, good. On the bottom, common denominator of xy, we'll have to times by a y and a y. Uh, that'll make that a y squared and an x and an x, which will make that an x squared. So we're going to get all over 12y squared plus 18x squared all over xy. Now remember, this is division of two fractions, which is the same as taking 3y plus 3x over xy timesing by the reciprocal of this. So it's the top fraction divided by the bottom fraction, which is timesing by the reciprocal of that fraction. So that's 12y squared plus 18x squared. The xy's we're multiplying, so that's just like timesing top and timesing bottom. Those guys cancel right there. Can we simplify anything else? Well, the top can have a three factor out. So we've got a three times y plus x over uh, three factored out of there gives a four y squared plus six x squared and the threes as factors of the top and the bottom cancel. So we are left with simply y plus x over four y squared plus six x squared. Good, number 17. Hmm, let me see, on this one we've got a common denominator on the top of x and x minus three. So on this one we times by x minus three and an x minus three here. And here we'd have to times by an x and an x. So that would give us three x minus nine, that's the three times that, and then minus five x all over x times x minus three. Oops, there we go. All over, and then the bottom one. Let's see what we can do with the bottom fraction. Uh, common denominator of x times x minus three, so we're gonna times by x here, and times by x minus three here. Notice we just made those two the same exact denominators by doing this, and we get on the bottom nine x plus five x minus 15 over x times x minus three. And we have the top fraction divided by the bottom fraction, so we'll write it out as, let me see, the top fraction is really three x minus five x is a negative two x minus nine over x times x minus three. There's the top fraction right here. Then we're dividing by the bottom fraction, which is the same as timesing by the bottom fraction's reciprocal. So that's x times x minus three over uh, what is that? 14x minus 15, is that right? 14x minus 15. Okay, this is multiplication now. We can cancel, cancel, x minus 3, cancel, cancel. Um, does anything factor so we could cancel anything? Let me see, we get negative 2x, not plus, minus 9 over 14x minus 15. Uh, nothing comes out of the top. The X's are not eligible to cancel right now, so it looks like that is the answer. Good deal. Number 18. Um, 3X minus 3Y over 2 over, oh, over Y, through minus 3Y over X, over 2X, 2 over X plus 2 over Y. Okay. Common denominator in the top looks like just X times Y, so we'll times by X and X y and y. We've now made those common denominators, so we have 3x squared minus 3y squared all over xy. Good. That's the top fraction. Now it's all over the bottom fraction. We've got to get a common denominator again. We have a y, y, x, x. So we have a common denominator of xy and we get 2y plus 2x all over xy. So dividing of fractions is timesing by the reciprocals. So we get 3x squared minus 3y squared over xy 
times by the reciprocal of the bottom, which is xy over 2y plus 2x. Uh, the xy's cancel. Um, looks like, oh, we need to do some factoring. We can take a 3 out of the top, and we're left with x squared minus y squared. This is a, this is a um, difference of squares. So the top actually is 3. Difference of squares factors into x plus y, x minus y. There we go. Now we can see if we simplify with anything on the bottom. And the bottom, a 2 comes out of there. 2 comes out of, and we get a y plus x. y plus x and x plus y are the same thing. They cancel equals 3 parentheses x minus y all over 2. Oh, good. And the final one, number 19. Ooh, this one looks tougher. It's got some uh, varied, they're not always the same denominators. Okay, so the top one, we would have to times x plus 3 and 2x minus 1. So we're going to times by a 2x minus 1 and a 2x minus 1 there. And then on this, we'd have to times by x plus 3 and x plus 3. Uh, technically, we're multiplying the binomials down there, so parentheses around, the, around there is appropriate. So this is going to equal, uh, let me see, 6, 3 times 2x minus 1 is 6x minus 3. And then this negative 6, don't forget that negative on that 6, jumps into there and we get minus 6x minus 18 all over this 2x minus 1 x plus 3. Okay, so there's the top fraction right there. Let's go ahead and switch colors uh, for the bottom fraction so we can see what's going on. This is going to be all over. Let's do the bottom fraction down here. Uh, common denominator, we'd have to times by 3x plus 2 on the bottom and the top. And this one would have to have the x plus 3 right there and the x plus 3. Good. All right, so the top of this bottom fraction, this 3 jumps in and we get 9x plus 6. And then don't forget this minus 9 when it jumps in here to give us minus 9x minus 27 over this uh, x plus 3 times 3x plus 2. Okay. Whew. Okay, so the top fraction in green, the bottom fraction in blue. Um, and now we can divide them, so we get, let me see, the, oh, we, those two go away, so it's really a negative 21 over 2x minus 1, uh, x plus 3, uh, and we're going to multiply by, now remember, division of fractions, we're going to times by the reciprocal of this fraction, so the x plus 3, 3x plus 2, goes on top right here, over, and then this one, which that goes like that, and that goes like that, plus 6, and minus 27 is a negative 21. What? No way. That's amazing. Negative 21, okay, now we're multiplying, so just anything on the top with anything on the bottom that will cancel, and the x plus 3s cancel. So we are left with just that 3x plus 2, over that 2x minus 1. And there we have it. Wow, that simplified down to something not as bad as I thought it was going to be.